In this video, we're going to see how to add a signature to an Outlook 2016 email. A signature can contain just about anything, but it's usually your name, position and contact details. Some people like to add a graphic image, for example, the company logo. But be careful. A lot of people prefer text-only emails, so think very carefully before you add them. Let's start with a plain text signature. Open Outlook 2016, click on File and go to Options. Select Mail in the pop-up box and you'll find a section to create or modify signatures. Click on Signatures. A second pop-up box appears. You can create as many signatures as you like. The top left box shows signatures that are already created. The box on the top right allows you to associate a signature with a particular email account to specify which signature you want to add for new messages and which for replies and forwards. This is very useful because whilst you might want to put all your contact details in a new email, you won't want to repeat them in each subsequent email in an email chain because it will simply create clutter. Let's create a new text signature. Click New and Outlook asks you to name the signature. Let's call it Test Main. Click OK and the edit box is cleared, ready for you to add text. First I add my name and correspondence address. Then my telephone number and email address. Yes, I know the recipient will already have it, but we English folk like to be thorough. And finally, the company website address. Notice that I can save depth and therefore screen real estate by putting as much on a single line as possible. Notice also that Outlook automatically adds an HTML link to my email address, and if I start my web address with http colon slant slant, it adds one to that as well. I can always remove the HTT bit afterwards if I want. I'd like to reduce the font size of everything below my name, again to save space. And finally, I associate this signature with its correct email account and specify its use for new messages only. Next, let's make an abbreviated version for replies and forwards. Go to your main signature, select all and copy the text to your clipboard. Next, click New. I'll call this one Test Replies. Paste the clipboard into your text box. Now you have exactly the same signature as before. But all I really want to send on a reply or a forward is my name and telephone number. That's really all the recipient is likely to need. So I delete the rest. Now I can add that signature to replies and forwards and click OK. If I launch a new email, you'll see the main signature at the bottom. If I reply, Outlook will select the abbreviated signature. And now, finally, let's add some graphics. There are two ways of doing this. You can either create a JPEG image file and link it to your email signature, or you can use HTML to create a complex signature with clickable links to social media. Frankly, the easiest is simply to add the company logo as a JPEG. Using a photo editor, make sure the JPEG is the correct size for your email. Place your cursor where you want the logo to appear. Click on the Insert Picture icon here. Navigate to your logo, select it and click Insert. Easy. Do make sure though that it's the correct size before you insert it. Of course, if you want to create the entire signature using HTML, and that way you'll get clickable links, social media and all the works, you can use something like Dreamweaver to hard code it yourself, or you can use one of the signature creation tools such as HubSpot.com. Email signatures are very useful, 
both to save you time, but also to give your recipients the correct contact information that they need. eTop Technology. We're here to help. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, check out some of our more recent videos. And if you're looking for a new IT partner, please visit our website.